Hi there, and welcome to the award-winning Ed Brown Show. I am your host, Kamaria Richmond, and we have a wonderful show for you today. We are talking to Mr. Ron Mitchell, and Ron is the Ignite coach, and we're going to talk about that. He's also the CEO of BEM Enterprises, and I'm excited for you to learn about his conference for women. And so, Ron, welcome back to the Ed Brown Show. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. Yes, thank you. And so we want to talk about entrepreneurship because you have the successful company you have a successful business and especially for young people how do we get started how do we become an entrepreneur how as a young person does it even do I even get an inkling mm. about I can have my own business well it starts with a dream right we all have a dream mm -hmm. um, you know it's easy to say you want to do something but it's right. different to actually do the things do required in order to be successful. Mm -hmm. uh, I say it starts with a dream because the dream is the one thing that'll keep us inspired. Right. Ignites the fire within. Mm -hmm. and, and in addition to that, a dream is the one thing that we will pursue even mm -hmm. if we're not making money. Because a dream is the, also something that yeah. brings us joy and happiness mm -hmm. and enthusiasm and excitement. So right. imagine doing something that you've dreamed about. Mm -hmm. In most cases, you're going to be very successful at it. Mm -hmm. You're going to be able to put forth the energy involved, the effort, and then the expectations are going to be boundless. Mm -hmm. That's because of the dream. So with an entrepreneurship, I always say as associate your entrepreneurship with your dream. Right, and so this is something you would do even if you weren't getting paid. Absolutely. It's something that... So I wake it, up every morning and right. fight up about it. And right, and, and do it. And how did you start your company? Well, I started my company through entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Not entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship. A little different. Okay. Well, now, entre entrepreneurship is defined as uh, a, 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 an employee at a company mm -hmm. that has an entrepreneurial spirit that works within the organization. And through such an entrepreneurial spirit, he or she is able to uh, fuel innovation mm -hmm. and excel and drive great results for the company. Now, okay. that is, uh, uh, people look at it like that and define it like that okay. quite often. I look at entrepreneurship as internal. <laughs> internal. Okay. Entrepreneurship okay. internally. Mm -hmm. I believe that you have to mold and shape what's inside of you, because what's inside of you is essentially what manifests. Your attitude, the energy, mm -hmm. the vision, right. the, 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 the capability when the world says, no, you tell yourself, yes. So some of those internal characteristics mm -hmm. that we all have, when you mm -hmm. are able to develop those, then you become a successful entrepreneur. I think that without developing and winning on the inside, right. it's very tough to be successful on the outside and that as an entrepreneur. And you talked about looking at yourself in the mirror. Yes. Like in with Huddle, I believe you were talking about like <laughs> like, like uh, football players or, <laughs> you know what, let's get into our huddle and let me figure out how I'm going to start my day. Mm -hmm. Well, I always talk about self uh, huddle. Mm -hmm. Like football players, typically, whenever the game is going on, they'll run the ball or throw the ball. And whenever right. they uh, run five or ten yards, get stopped. They mm -hmm. typically go back and huddle together right. and come up with a strategy that's typically about what they're going to do next, what the mm -hmm. next play is going to be. Mm -hmm. And I think we should also do that every day. Self-huddle. When you wake up in the morning, have a self-huddle. Look in the mirror. Talk mm -hmm. to yourself about how I feel, mm -hmm. what my day is going to look like, right. what I'm going to achieve, what, I, what do I need to overcome, and more importantly, my energy level. How can I feed my faith and ensure mm -hmm. that I can overcome any obstacles that may be thrown at me personally and professionally? Right. So we have to get ourselves fired up and fuel our mindset. Mm -hmm. Right? Because if we don't, the moment you walk outside your door, the world will make suggestions for you. And sometimes we're not able to excel and drive results mm -hmm. or achieve what we envision because we simply did not have a self-huddle. 
that t little talk with yourself. Yes, and what about, let's say, you know what, I don't want to look in the mirror. I don't want to see what's going on. I'm just going to go on with my day, <laughs> and whatever happens, happens. Okay. And you know what, whatever happens tomorrow is, you know, I'm not looking right for the day. I'm maybe looking at the past, and okay. I'm looking a lot of times already in the future, but like at this moment, mm. meditation, prayer, you know, I don't know anything about the self-huddle. Okay. <laughs> well, that's okay. If you can't, if you're not interested in doing having a self-huddle, mm -hmm. then when you wake up in the morning, make up your bed. Make up your bed. The okay. reason why I think it's important to make up your bed because in making up your bed, it takes mm -hmm. typically two or three minutes to make up your right. bed. During that process, you can help to make up your mind. While you're making up your bed, ah. make up your mind. Determine mm -hmm. what you're going to do, how you're going to approach the day, mm -hmm. what kind of energy are you going to display and convey to others. Okay. If, if life throws you a curveball, you uh -huh. probably do dodge ball and get out the way and still move forward. So right. when we make up our bed, mm -hmm. we're able to make up our mind in that moment, mm -hmm. and it can change your life forever so it's important to make up your bed every day that is so simple and i have to tell you, that's the first thing i do when i get up is make up my bed <laughs> <laughs> but something that simple can just change your world yes it yes. is something that can be really really simple now tell us and we've talked about it but tell us about this ignite her because, and we're going to talk about you being the Ignite coach. Well, let's start with that first. Okay. <laughs> let's talk about being the Ignite, the Ignite coach okay. and what that means. Mm. Well, simply uh, to ignite the fire within someone mm -hmm. and drive the human spirit, drive results, coach people to unbelievable mm -hmm. success, personally and professionally. That's right. what it means to ignite to ignite something, to fire it up, to fuel that spark, right. to get it going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And I tell you, you have to tell everyone, as I've told you, to watch Ron on YouTube. Great videos. And how do you come up with those videos? Because you're, you have a lesson, but you have Muhammad Ali. You have <laughs> Will Smith as Muhammad Ali. Or you, you have all these wonderful I mean, movies that we know, actors that we know, mm -hmm. but it drives the point home. Well, thank you. When you're, when you're saying, okay, this, just use one analogy, <laughs> and this is what I can do to ignite myself every day. So, well, you know, there's a video called Willing, Ready, and Able. Yes. You, you, because, uh, and what you mentioned earlier there was mm -hmm. your favorite. Um, you have to be willing, willing to do the things today that most people will not do in order to have the results that, the, that they can only hope, wish, and dream about tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And you have to be ready mm -hmm. to seize the moment. Yes. You know, preparation is everything. Sometimes opportunity presents itself to us mm -hmm. and we're not ready right. to capitalize on that opportunity. Right. So you have to be not only willing, but you gotta be ready. And also you have to be able, able that when things don't go your way, when you get knocked down, that you're able to get back up, able to recover, able to keep moving forward, even when the world tells you no, you're right. able to tell yourself yes. So you have to essentially be willing, ready, and of course able. And able, and you've talked about pain. So if we're not, if we're not willing, ready, and able, then the pain is gonna come. <laughs> Absolutely. So how do we, we can't avoid the pain, but how can we, work through it mm. well the one thing that's very important about success it mm -hmm. comes with shortcomings comes with setbacks right absolutely comes with pain and sometimes the pain is physical pain sometimes emotional sometimes psychological sometimes right. mental sometimes even spiritual impact we feel the pain but the one thing that pain can bring us is pleasure because well typically when we in when we deal with some sort of pain, then there's some frustration involved. Mm -hmm. right. There's something that didn't go our way. It's something that is simply unbelievable. It's saddening. 
But the one thing I learned through pain is that discomfort is very important because when we're uncomfortable, it fuels success. We're able to uh, become more successful. We're able to grow more through discomfort. Imagine um, when you were uh, uh, four years old or five mm -hmm. and you were learning how to ride a bike and you fell off of it. It gave you some discomfort, right? Right. <laughs> but through that discomfort, it's challenged you, and more importantly, it improved and fed your confidence. And through that confidence, you became courageous and successful, right. and more importantly, you spent the many, many years moving forward riding that bike uh -huh. faster and faster and faster. So uh, pain, a little discomfort, it triggers growth, and I think it's necessary in order to become the person you envision mm -hmm. or hope to become. It is necessary, but who wants the pain? <laughs> <laughs> but we know that it is. But we is. all want the success. But yes, exactly, and that's the thing. We want it now. Mm -hmm. We want everything now. We yes. want our business now. We want to start making money now, but we haven't, we haven't gone through the process. Mm, absolutely. And how do we walk ourselves through that process? Well, I'll give you an example what my mother shared with me. She said, uh, um, when I was first pregnant, I wanted a baby right then and there, but it takes nine months. Right. <laughs> and so as a result of going through that, that process, she endured a lot of pain. Because we want it, we want it right now. Right. But the moment she gave birth to my older sister, Pamela, in that moment, she realized the importance of the process. Mm -hmm. Because through nine months, she learned how to sing and talk to my sister, learned how to uh, uh, maintain a better diet. She grew emotionally, spiritually, psychologically. She started reading uh, information about parent, being a better parent and, mm -hmm. and parenthood. So mm -hmm. it allowed her time to prepare to offer the world something that it had never seen before, which is my sister mm -hmm. Pamela. So as a result, through that process, we all want it now, but right. the process right. is important because through the process, it ensures that we, that we can acquire prosperity. So when I think of prospect, pr uh, a process, I think of prosperity and, pr and productivity. Yes, yes, and you tell us about your story because now it makes perfect sense to me knowing your, your story and how your mother, what she did to prepare. Well, my mom, um, single mom, four kids, mm -hmm. and uh, she raised us all in a uh, drug infested ghetto on the south side of Chicago. Uh, needless to say, I've seen uh, an enormous amount of challenges from gangs, to shootings, mm -hmm. to killings. Um, the list goes on and on, but she was pretty strict, very tough. And then one thing that she was big on was education and okay. uh, not giving up, work ethic, uh, being kind, giving back, mm -hmm. uh, celebrating people. Uh, she told me one day that I had a major challenge ahead of me. I said, what do you mean? She said, walk outside the door and look around. Mm -hmm. And 10 minutes later, when you come back in, tell me what you see. So I walked outside and I looked around. And needless to say, I was getting ready for my paper route. And I rubbed my eyes together a little bit. And, and I saw a, a drug addict uh, shooting dope. I saw wow. another lady uh, taking part in uh, some illegal activity. I saw prostitution. I, I saw a car turn a corner and someone shoot. This is 7 o'clock in the morning in the summertime. I'm a kid. I saw that. And wow. as a result of that, I walked back in. And she said, what did you see? I said, I saw cancer. Wow. She said, well, you saw cancer? What do you mean? Not physical cancer. Mm -hmm. I saw cancer of the spiritual cancer. Mm -hmm. I saw how people were broken. There are different types of cancer, 
But when the right. spirit has cancer, mm -hmm. we're broken. We've given up. Mm -hmm. We quit. Right. We stop believing. We stop hoping. We stop trying. Mm -hmm. And when cancer is the best of the human spirit, the world America can never be what it's supposed to be. Absolutely. We, because of the greatest technology in medicine today been birthed because some of us have been able to overcome the cancer that attacks the human spirit and not quit, continue to go to school, continue to be innovative and, mm -hmm. and, and coming up with ideas and strategies and new businesses and pushing the envelope further. And not only pushing the envelope of life further, but building and creating new envelopes. New envelopes, new material, new opportunities. And so that cancer I saw, I knew that I wanted to spend the rest of my life helping to overcome that spiritual cancer. And in doing so, I believe that when we ignite the human spirit, mm -hmm. we can overcome that cancer that attacks the, that attacks the core of who we are, I believe, mm -hmm. and fuels mm -hmm. and pushes us and, 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 and promotes us giving up on life and who we envision becoming. And so I've spent my life helping to serve, serve. And when we serve, that is when we learn how to lead. That is powerful. When we serve, then that's how we know how to lead. And that's, do you give that story or tell that story to young people that want to be the next Ron Mitchell? <laughs> You're very kind. <laughs> well, I often uh, talk to young people about telling their story. Okay. Developing your own narrative. Yes. You have something yes. special you, that you even know you possess. It's something that's inside of you. Your mom went through a lot just to get you here. I tell young people that millions of women have died giving birth. Yes. It's tough. They go through a lot yes. just to get you here. And if your mother is willing to die to birth something so beautiful as you, then you should have the intestinal fortitude to be all you can be, to get to, to, to pursue your dreams, to get knocked down six, seven, eight, nine, ten times, right. but get up that eleventh time. And because your mother Mm -hmm. was willing to make such a sacrifice, you owe it to yourself. And if you don't want to do it for yourself, then do it for your mom. That person who has wow. invested something, including her life, to get you here. So we owe a great debt to our mothers, and in particular to the human spirit that lives within women, and of course men too. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. So talking about women, we'll just transfer into the Ignite Her conference. Tell us about the conference because that's going to be equally as powerful, especially now I'm listening to you talk about giving birth and what that means. I'm like, wow. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we are doing Ignite Her conferences. Uh, the first conference will be on May 11, 2019 in Baltimore, Maryland at the mm -hmm. Lord Baltimore Hotel. Uh, One day conference uh, mm -hmm. that we are pretty fired up about. Uh, the conference will uh, in, uh, entail uh, hundreds of women attending, being fired up, learning mm -hmm. about work-life balance, learning about how to live your dreams, learning about how to be successful in a male-dominated environment, learning about work-life balance, learning about innovation, learning mm -hmm. about overcome obstacles, learning how to face barriers and then have, having a breakthrough. Mm -hmm. Getting tips and strategies that you can implement in real time, right there in the moment, and to sort of new heights. So we're excited about this conference because not only are we going to have this conference, but we're actually going to have multiple conferences, and for through all throughout 2019 through 2020, we're going from D.C. to Dubai, Singapore, Canada, Germany, London. Uh, uh, 
to Boston, Seattle, to mm -hmm. Chicago. We're going to multiple cities helping to mm -hmm. ignite the fire within women and support and celebrate them and more importantly, give them a winning edge in life. I'm excited. I'm excited for you. Excited because that is such, I mean, that will make a difference. So through the Ignite Her, is this where we find our why and this is, I'm going to live my best life and is this where we get all of that? Well, a good thing about this, this uh, tour is that we get a little, you get a little bit of that, but okay. we get solutions. We get answers. Yes. We get tips. We get strategies. We get breakthroughs. And more importantly, we are going to be offering some innovative coaching after the conference mm -hmm. that the world's yet to see. And then in addition to that post-conference, we're going to be offering Ignite Monthly, an innovative program that's designed to provide uh, all attendings with continuing um, learning mm -hmm. strategies that will help you become a better person, a better professional. So when a conference is over, you're still getting some unmatched, innovative support. Most conferences, when a conference is over, it's over. It's just but over. It's <laughs> over. <laughs> We're offering <laughs> continuous learning. Right. It doesn't stop there because we invested in you because we want to keep you ignited. You know, when the conference is in, you fire it up and then it's over. Right. Well, at Ignite Her conferences, it's not over. It's just beginning. Right, so we're not just taking notes. No. Oh, no. <laughs> we're just sitting there oh, no. taking notes, oh, no. but we actually get some real life solutions. Real life solutions. You're gonna be taking part in a lot of uh, uh, high energy activities. It's gonna be like um, uh, uh, KFC meets the Colonel. It's gonna be magic. <laughs> It's, it's, going be, it's going to be like Bill Gates meeting Microsoft. It's going to be, it's going to be magic. It's going to it's be It's going to be great. something pretty cool. And then more importantly, there's going to be some awesome takeaways and women going back to their communities, going back to their families with something to add a value, to implement, to make them a better mom, a better sister, a better grandmother, a better friend, a better wife, a better CEO, a better teacher, a better leader. We're going to be uh, giving them some really, really cool things that help them to skyrocket and reach that next plateau in life. So we're really, really fired up. And that's what it's all about, getting the information and then sharing it. Because once you share it, then you never know whose life you're going to ignite. And you know, oh, you know what? I was talking to Kamari and she said, <laughs> you know, she started talking about my why or being willing, ready and able. <laughs> and, and able. But I also want to talk about your book. You have a book and you have a workbook, workbook called No Matter What. And we're going to try and, okay, we were going to show it, but we, <laughs> but that's okay. Tell us about your book and your workbook. Well, one thing about the book and workbook is, uh, which uh, I'm very proud of the book is about my life story okay and it details a lot of potholes and obstacles that I had to overcome as a young person and then growing up as an adult and it provides the reader with a uh, an array of uh, tips and strategies the thing that mm -hmm. you can implement to also come and overcome obstacles and to live your dream no matter what in addition the workbook is a, a self-exploratory tool it's okay. a series of questions that um, challenges the reader to answer tough questions about mm -hmm. their self and to dig deep and to mm -hmm. go to places personally that you're uncomfortable with. And at the end of the workbook, you'll essentially have a roadmap on how to get from point A to point B to you'll, you'll, you'll know where you are and where you want to be and then how to get there. So uh, I urge people to read the book and not only read the book, but essentially the workbook because the book will not only give you uh, uh, some great tips and, and, and energy, but mm -hmm. more importantly, it is a catalyst for the workbook. You know, the book and the workbook, and I'm very excited about the two um, uh, 
pieces of literature because uh, to date I've gotten some phenomenal feedback and people telling me that it has certainly made a, a positive contribution uh, uh, on their life and uh, for their business and with their children and families. So I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, I just want to ask you, okay, give ask like one question. Like okay. what's, what's the one question that can either, we can either go forward or we can say, you know what, I never even thought about that, okay. that question. So like, what's one of the most, not just popular, but one of the most that people find really intriguing? Mm. About, about me or about themselves? <laughs> 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 well, the one question I always tell people to say about themselves is to um, ask them one question, why not me? Yes. Why yes. not me? Because when you ask yourselves, why not me, you give yourself permission to excel and to succeed. Sometimes when right. we're not able to achieve our goals because we are waiting for someone else to give you permission to move forward. Yes. to pursue your dreams, but I think that when you say, why not me, mm -hmm. you give yourself that permission, the authority to pursue what makes you mm -hmm. not happy, but what brings you joy. Often we look around at other people and say, why her, why him? Mm -hmm. But when we say, why not me, that's a game changer. It changes our energy and our mm -hmm. attitude, it puts us in the uh, position as a, an airplane about to take off. You know how airplanes typically take off? Right. And before they reach a certain altitude, they have to experience what? Turbulence. Mm -hmm. And when you go through that turbulence that life will throw you, that turbulence, when we build that confidence, we get to that altitude, mm -hmm. right? So right. when we get to that altitude in life, Mm -hmm. It's where we desire to be, but it's, 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 it's birthed through the why not me? Why can't I reach this altitude? Why not me? I'm born mm -hmm. to do it. Right. I possess something that the world has yet to see before. I embody what's beautiful. I mm -hmm. embody what the world has never seen before. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I'm the beginning to end. I'm not the problem. I can only be the yes. solution. Absolutely. That is so powerful because a lot of times we go, you know what? Yeah, why me? And what, what do you mean, why not me? But <laughs> why me? And so just kind of t having to work through that every day is just phenomenal. And how can people find you? Well, Thank you for asking. Well, on Facebook, I can be found at Ignite Coach Ron Mitchell, JDMBA, and of course on Twitter and, and uh, Instagram is Ignite uh, Coach underscore Ron. So essentially, you can find me on social media, and of, of course, uh, if you uh, uh, search Ignite Coach Ron Mitchell, you'll find a lot of our videos on YouTube, and more importantly, uh, we're Ignite Coach Ron Mitchell on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are, are essentially out here working to help to ignite the fire within. And in addition, I work with an amazing group of authors, consultants, and experts. Mm -hmm. uh, Team Ignite. Right, right, and so we are going to find Ron all over social media. So this has been the Ed Brown Show. I'm your host, Tanya Richmond. Check out Ron Mitchell, and thanks, and we'll talk to you next time.